Um, it's funny, a lot of y'all write me sometimes and you tell me that you're kind of surprised that I'm willing to, you know, tell y'all certain things that I'm man enough to tell y'all certain things. Well, here's another thing I'm man enough to tell you about because, you know, men don't like their pride hurt. Men don't like to talk about things that hurt their pride or fuck them up. Now, these didn't fuck me up like that, but because of my state of mind at this time, but this happened to me three times. And I'm like, what? So, y'all seen the, the, the show Catfish, okay, on, uh, on MTV? Well, I got catfished three times, and I'm going to tell you about the three times I got catfished. All right, one time I got catfished um, by this girl in Florida. I met her on interracialmatcher.com. Her name was Brandy. She was like this Spanish-looking girl, these green eyes, good-looking chick, good-looking chick. Uh, we started talking, started talking, and, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, eventually exchanged phone numbers, and uh, she, she was mad cool. Was, I really liked her. Like, I planned on eventually taking a vacation and going seeing this girl, because I was like, shit, I want to go to Miami anyway. Let me see what this, you know, check this girl out, this and that. She had a little baby girl. Um, she faked the picture for the little girl and herself. I'm sure you all know that. Um, what's funny was she would never um, show me her cell phone webcam. Like I always tell her, like, she always tell me she doesn't have a webcam. I'm like, yo, let me see your webcam. Let's do a web chat. You know, she never wanted to do it. And that's when I kind of started to get suspicious. So, um, you know, I figured it out. And you know, I eventually just dropped her. You know, I just, you know, lost my feelings for, her, you know, whatever a little bit I had. And, yeah, you know, I just went about my business. What was funny was, like a, a year or so later, um, I ended up checking my space, looking for her name because she used her real name. I found her. Looked nothing like the picture. And she had this slow way of talking. And she was like, hi, baby. How you doing? Like, that's how she talked. I had to actually get used to that. Because she sounded like something was wrong with her. And she told me on the phone one time that she used to be hooked on crystal meth. And I told her, I said, so that's why you talk like that. <laughs> she took it really well because a lot of people would have took that, you know, got really mad. But we were cool to the point where I could have made that joke with her. And she was walking with her friends. She was like, you hear what he just said? He said, I talk like this because I was on crystal meth. That's how she talked. I had to get used to it. Her voice kind of ir irritating. Second time. Okay, um, this girl, she used, this girl was bad, too. She's the picture she used. <laughs> Woo! Uh, and she said she was Armenian. I forgot how I met her. I think I met her on MySpace. I started talking to her. She was real cool and everything. But what was weird was I had a feeling that she was younger than what she said she was. Like, I was like, the voice doesn't exactly match the picture. I picture a woman's voice sounding different than this. You got what I'm saying? So I ended up talking to her for a little bit. She was really cool too. And uh, same thing. It was the same thing. It was like, um, yo, all right, you know, once you, at a point after you chatted and talked on the phone, you'll want to see him. Oh, uh, you know, you kept making all these excuses. Oh, you know, I ain't got no, you know, so fuck you. And she got mad too because what I started to do was I started to like drop hints like I was, uh, you know, seeing other girls and she didn't like that. It's like, how you gonna fake me and then get mad for me starting to chat with other girls? So, got rid of her dumbass. What was funny was I called her one time. How I called her was I called her and she told me that she was going on a trip to Armenia and she had to use a special phone card to call me. And she would use a phone card to call me. Cause get this, her dad owned a gas station. So she bought one from him to use to call me. <laughs> so she uh, ended up being 16 and um, that's why the voice didn't match, a grown ass woman's voice. And I called her and her picked phone, her friend picked up the phone. I said, hey, how you doing? Where's she at? Oh, oh, she we're at the beach. She's out in the water. I'm like, yeah, what beach? Seaside? Yeah. Oh, cool. She was like, uh, yeah, she already knew that she told too much. The girl called me back. What did my friend tell you? I was like, no worries. She told me everything I need to know. She's lying. She's lying. I just hung up on her. Got rid of her. Now, 
Last one is the fucking doozy, okay? Um, this one actually happened before the other two. And um, this was when I was kind of exploring the freak nature of it. So I would like go to different websites where girls was just trying to be, you know, freaky. And, you know, I've talked to different girls online, you know, just being freaky and sent me pictures. And some of them actually got on video, chatted with me. Well, this one girl, this blonde chick, she was all right. You know what I mean? She ended up chatting with me and, uh, you know, talking all raw and dirty and shit. And um, uh, eventually uh, I said, well, could I call you? You know what I mean? And she she was like, well, nah, you know, my voice. <laughs> she said, I got kind of a deep voice. She was like, I got a deep voice. I'm like, here we go. No, I didn't even think nothing. I was just like, well, let me. I mean, hear what you sound like, you know, well, you know, I kind of sound like Kathleen Turner, and, you know, I'm like, all right, look, let me, you know, hear what the fuck you, t you know, you sound like you talking all raw, and, you know, so I ended up calling her, no, she called me, and when she got on the phone, I was like, this is a fucking dude, and I told him, it was funny, because we had ch chat, I told him, I said, you know what, I said, you are very lucky because there's a lot of men that you wouldn't have saw tomorrow with after doing something like this. You are very, very lucky and never said shit else to me. You know what I mean? You got gay dudes out there acting like they girls, putting up female pictures. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, catfish is some crazy ass shit. So that's the three times that it happened to me. Uh, three times, fuck that. Three strikes and you're out. So from then on, it was like, look, bitch. If you don't get on the cam, we can't go no further. Every other girl, she would get on cam. Every other girl was cool. So, and I actually had some crazy, <laughs> some fun times with the fucking internet, y'all. I gotta tell y'all some fucking stories, man. This girl in Seattle, this Ukrainian girl I met, this girl from North Jersey. Oh, man, just, uh, just some crazy ass shit. But anyway. Yeah, Tyrone Magnus was catfish. I ain't no punk. I ain't afraid to admit that I got caught out there by an ugly bitch, a young bitch, and a fucking gay dude. Whatever. At least, you know, I ain't fuck nobody. You know what I'm saying? That'd been different if I'd, <laughs> if I'd fuck the dude and, and fuck the 16-year-old and then went down to Florida and fucked the fat, ugly bitch. Then something's wrong with me for doing all that shit, but... <laughs> Didn't do none of that. Alright, y'all. Tyrone Crawley got catfished.